Tonight, about two years after a Kanawha County woman went missing, remains found in Boone County were confirmed to be hers. Danielle Burbank joins us live in the studio after talking with her siblings. And Daniel, they're a little closer to those answers tonight. That's right, Gina. Alyssa Smith's sisters describe her as the happiest person in the room and had a heart of gold. And we talked about the DNA results and they said it's closure to know she's home. In August 2022, Alyssa Smith went missing in eastern Kanawha County. By the fall of that same year, West Virginia State Police troopers found human remains in Boone County. Her sisters, Emily Zink and Kaylee Ingram, are sharing memories to honor their sister. And I love you. And I miss you. And I hope you're happy up here with Dad. <laughs> It's this general location that the Smith family believes Alyssa's body was found, but with the news that her remains were positively identified, there are still many unanswered questions. To the person that knows what happened to my sister, they can rot in hell. Karma's a bitch. Yeah. According to a statement from a Kanawha County Sheriff spokesperson, although this is a significant development, many questions remain unanswered as detectives continue to investigate the events leading up to her death. She was all I ever wanted to be. I wanted to be the smart kid in school. I was in band, played the clarinet just like her, and I always thought she was the prettiest person I've ever met in my life. A sheriff's office spokesperson says the West Virginia Fusion Center and Marshall University Forensic Laboratory worked together to confirm the DNA was hers. Ingram says her oldest child occasionally asks where her Aunt Alyssa went, but Ingram says she hasn't figured out how to break the news to her children. Both say they plan to give back to their community's most vulnerable in her sister's honor. No one on the record was able to give information surrounding her death, but anyone with information is asked to contact the county's criminal investigation section. Live in the studio, Daniel Burbank, Eyewitness News. Thanks so much for watching. Here's another video from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell notification to get the very latest.